Hi friends, Satyendra here and in this video we are going to learn about how to hide any row or a column in bomb table in Creo Parametric. So for that I have this assembly drawing opened here and if you zoom this area you will see there are two tables. Both the tables are for the same assembly. I have created two tables here. One table with uh, the first one with uh, general repeat reason and second one is with nested repeat reason. So you can see the clear difference. So in nested you get first level in uh, one column and the second level in another column. It is just like your assembly model tree and in general everything is in one column. So in this video we are not going to talk about uh, how to create these tables because for uh, table creation there is a separate dedicated video which link I am going to give in the description area below. You can check out that video as well. But in this video we will only talk about how to hide row or column. So when we talk about hiding a row or column, we basically talk about filters available in repeat reason. So using filters you can hide any row or column in a table. So now we will talk about hiding a column in bill of material. So hiding a column in bill of material is just like deleting the entire column. Suppose I want to uh, hide this quantity column then I can just select this entire column like this and I said delete and the moment you say yes it will delete this entire column and if you want this column to get back then you can just add one report symbol here and regenerate the table you will get this quantity back once again so hiding a column in bill of material is very simple now we will talk about uh, hiding row in bill of material table here I am not talking about hiding anything in a family table. I am talking about hiding row and column in bill of material. Because hiding uh, row and column in a family table is somewhat different. So for that uh, I have a dedicated video. If you want to see that as well, you can check out the description area below. I am giving the link for that video as well. So now I will talk about hiding a row in a bomb table. So to hide a row in bomb table go to repeat reason and click on filters. The moment you click on filters it asks you to select a reason. So select any repeat reason. I will select this from first table. And the moment you click this you see two options here by rule and by item. So we will talk about both the option but first I will go by item. So click on by item it highlights exclude and it asks you to select any row from the repeat reason table selected. So any row you select it will hide that row. So let us click on this ASM03 select this and say enter and done. It is gone. Same way once again if you click any row like this and say enter and done that is also gone. And if you want these item to get back just go by item and say restore all or restore. If you click on restore it will ask you to select uh, any one row from the hidden rows but if you say restore all and confirm it will automatically restore everything hidden. Now you can see everything came back. Now let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So same way we will try uh, buy item option for this nested table. Let's click on filter and this time it is asking to select a reason. I will select this first reason because this, this is a nested table so it is having two reasons. One is this and one is this. If you want to see these reasons just click on switch symbol and you can see that there is a red box outside and there are small red box inside this outer red box. So this table is having two different reasons and this table is having only one reason. These details you will get in the video uh, table creation video. So now uh, we will go for filters and then we will select the first reason and the moment you click on first reason you get both the options go with buy item. Now you just move your cursor one by one see two box highlighted again two box highlighted this time four box Four box, four box. Why it is happening like this is because the buy item always select the uh, first level item. 
here assembly wall is the first level item and inside the assembly wall this four are four parts are coming second is also assembly two and four parts but these two are individual parts there is nothing inside that but due to nested uh, repeat reason it has added one blank row here and this part the last part is also having one blank row here so now, now my task is to use this uh, buy item option to remove one of the first level part so if you select this and say enter and done then it will hide that even if you go by buy item and if you select this assembly 2 so it will hide first level and uh, all children parts inside that say enter and say done see that some asm02 as well now same way you can restore everything by clicking buy item and say restore or restore if i say restore and if i select this only and say enter enter now only this asm01 02 came and part x2 is still hidden so go to filter and then first reason and buy item and say restore all and confirm and done so this was the option buy item now we will see buy rule so buy item is an easy option for a general repeat reason table because everything you have in one column so you can hide in any row uh, by the part name or assembly name but here suppose my condition is like uh, i need this assembly 01 but i i want to hide this part d so all children level uh, uh, item something if you want to hide then you can go for buy rule so click on filter now suppose this is the first uh, reason this is the second reason if i click on second reason and then if i go buy item and if i move my cursor from top to bottom nothing is getting highlighted that means this option will not work in this case so in this case you can go by rule which is very strong and effective uh, way of hiding any part now i'm going to hide a children part suppose i want to hide this part d from here so how to hide this by rule so click on by rule and then go for edit and here you need to write the rule okay and then what is the logic behind this rule uh, that also we'll see see this part a b c all children what is the reports report symbol these uh, these items are having to see the report symbol just click on switch symbol and you will see that it is having assembly member name now go to filter select the second reason and then go to edit now you have to type that uh, same rule here type percent asm for assembly dot mbr for member the way it is in your report symbol dot name n a m b and give one space and type exclamation mark with equal symbol again space and write the name which you want to hide so i will write p a r t dash d and save it and close it now set done and see this item uh, carefully say done and say done gone so now you can see that your main assembly is there and now you have only three parts one part is gone so this way you can hide whichever children part you want to hide using by rule method now now my next requirement is everything looks okay but what about this blanks uh, rows here we have a blank row which doesn't look good i need to hide this uh, this blank row and this blank row so these two blank row uh, you can't hide using filter there is another method to hide uh, this row because filter can filter all available parts or uh, assembly but if nothing is available then you can't filter it so to hide this there is another option and uh, so to hide these blank cells just go to attribute click on attribute and select second reason this is the first reason this is the second reason so second reason 
there is an option called inside the uh, attribute there is an option called mean repeats click on mean repeats and it highlights one now we make it zero and say okay and say done so zero is the option which uh, check all the uh, first level parts and assembly if there is sub level available it will add the part if it is not then it will remove all blank cells but one is the option which will repeat uh, cells for every first level if there is no part then one uh, blank cell will be uh, added and if there is a part then number of parts will be added so as you can see here so this is the way we hide and hide any row column in a bomb table and hiding and hiding row column in family table is slightly different and for that you can check out the description area below i have given the link and like this video if the video is helpful share this video with your friends and subscribe this channel for further updates so this is it guys now like this video if the video is helpful share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.